Welcome to the show, everyone. My name is Jacob Volk, and I've got a no-hitter to tell you about Sean Manaya. No-hit baseball's best tonight, the Boston Red Sox, as they enter tonight with an MLB leading 17-2 record. In his three previous starts against them, he'd gone 1-2 with an absolutely ghastly 13.5 ERA, and this is how he did it. Bottom of the first, runner on first for Hanley Ramirez, and he strikes out. Next batter up is J.D. Martinez, and he strikes out swinging. Top of the third, he's up 1-0 now. Jackie Bradley Jr. and Zhu Wei Lin strike out. Manaya's feeling it now. Top of the fifth, he's up 2-0. Sandy Leon hits a pop-up to short left center field. That is botched by Marcus Simeon. You can see here the ball hits off the heel of his glove, and the official scorer would later give him an error. Oh, don't be sad, Marcus. You didn't ruin Manaya's night. The no-hitter's still intact, buddy. It's all good. Top of the sixth now. Another scare coming up. A's up 3-0. Andrew Benintendi hits a slow roller down the first base line, and he dodges the tag from Matt Olson. The no-hitter is seemingly over. However, the umpires get together, and you can see he stepped out of the baseline. He is ruled out. The no-hitter is still alive. Here's the last out, as Hanley Ramirez grounds into a force out at second, and all the athletics are gonna pile onto Sean Manaya now to celebrate what he has done. Manaya only needed 108 pitches to strike out 10 Red Sox, and only walk two. Interesting fact for you about that no-hitter, his 10 strikeouts are the third most by an athletics pitcher in a no-hitter in franchise history as only Dave Stewart and Catfish Hunter have had more.